Port Chicago, also known as the Concord Weapon Station, has a powerful story to tell, both of the past and the present. Today we show you abandoned weapon storage facilities, but we also have two other stories. One of the stories is how the site was turned into a autonomous vehicle testing facility. The other story is a horrific accident that happened at this site during World War II that changed the course of the U.S. Navy and segregation forever. The Concord Naval Weapons Station first opened in 1942 as an annex to the Mare Island Naval Shipyard and its armory. The Navy stored thousands of tons of armaments here until the 1980s. That included small ammunition all the way up to bombs and torpedoes that weighed hundreds of tons. The Navy used railroad cars to transport the bombs to nearby ships in the San Francisco Bay. Some of the really big bombs were stored in these isolated bunkers. This site, located in Concord, California, is a 60-mile drive from Silicon Valley, making it accessible for the many technology giants. This was one of the earliest test sites for self-driving cars. Established in 2014 as a Go Momentum station, it was the largest secure test site in the U.S. The 2,100-acre site provides 20 miles of roads. Autonomous cars have come a long way. In December 2022, Google's Waymo business and GM's Cruise business began operating driverless taxis in San Francisco. Today, this site is testing communications between vehicles and traffic control signals, as well as vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication. The site has a seven-mile-long roadway, great for testing high-speed driving. There's also a pair of 1,400 foot long tunnels ideal for putting GPS and other satellite sensors through their pace. In 1944, an errant shell dropped through a cargo net loading 5,000 tons of munitions. The blasts sunk two ships, leveled the area, and killed 320 people, injuring 400. The blast could be felt 30 miles away and measured 3.7 on the earthquake Richter scale. 
This disaster and the events that followed exposed racism in the military. The U.S. Navy began desegregating its units in 1945. This was a monumental moment in the fight for honorable and fair treatment in the U.S. regardless of race. Hey folks, be fantastic. Appreciate your support. We'll see you next time at that place.